What's up Yu-Gi-Oh players? Or the Yu-Gi-Oh player coming at you guys with a, something a little different today. Um, so there's this game called Mega Corp. It's a, a new TCG that just released like not even a month ago. Uh, they were at uh, the uh, Gen Con trying to basically show people their product. And I had some extra money in my PayPal. So I was like, screw it. Let's just try it out. Let's see if I like it at all. If I do, awesome. The mechanics look pretty cool. It's definitely much different than any other TCG out there, which I always like having something a little different, like trying new things out. So, uh, basically the premise of the, the game is you have uh, one corporation and then one like CEO, basically. And then you're basically the, the cards you play after that go around that card. Um, so just so you guys can see here, this came all the way from Singapore. I'm trying to get addresses in there, but yeah, <laughs> all the way from Singapore. <clears throat> and uh, one thing about the set is they don't have supers. Basically, there's one foil per box <clears throat> that comes in the top. Um, so that's something that we'll have to look at. Uh, and we'll take a look at. Um, hopefully, in the future, they have supers. They have foil cards. Uh, I don't want to damage the box much. Oh, screw it. Just do it. Yeah, I don't know where my razor's at. So I have to use this uh, key chain to, <laughs> to cut the wrapping a little bit here. Alright. Um, so just so you guys know, I am still doing Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm not quitting and switching games. I've just had a lot of issues lately. I've been trying to do Dueling Book. Um, have not had luck with it. My uh, player, every time it says like 99%, it says there was an error. I've tried to upload like 20 videos and it's just... It's been so long since I've uploaded, but it's because of that. And on top of that, I've been trying to do, uh, let me kind of show you my area. Uh, my Dungeon Dice Monster stuff's kind of just right there, chilling. Um, I'm waiting for, basically, I need a better uh, editor so I can edit the uh, video for the uh, tutorial. Um, so yeah. Um, so this game, uh, as you'll see here, this should be on the top, but the cards moved around a little bit. Um, unfortunately, it's got some nicks and stuff on it already. You see on the top, that's kind of unfortunate. Edge wear looks like a little bit, but I mean, hey, it's a foil. Um, we have the Nost Congregation business. So we got that foil. Um, so again, this is the only foil we will get. Uh, other than that, the only thing, other thing I know is that uh, the only cards that really, like you can tell rarity by the color of the top left. So um, yeah, but again, but into Yu-Gi-Oh! Unfortunately, I need a better editor, so I'm waiting for payday and then I'll get a better editing tool and then I will start the videos again. <laughs> uh, I haven't bought packs, so therefore I haven't really, oh either, I haven't had anything to upload since uh, trying to get the dungeon dice up. Wow, these packs are not, woo, Let's... come on, there's got to be a way, okay, I think we found it. So. Um, with the game, there's three different colors. You have uh, blue, green, and red. Um, I can't remember what red was, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So we get the Muay Thai, Corp Citizen, it's a Bomber Drone, and the artwork on these is definitely not censored, by the way, guys. Incarnate Donor, Cybernetic Arm, Neo Sapien Army member. And this is, uh, that's pretty cool, Mind Fire, Donation, man bl uh, Nano Blood, Factory, and Rapid Tissue Regeneration. So, I don't know if any of these are rares. I don't think you get a rare in every, every pack. So maybe this was, because it's got like a circle around it. Uh, that one's got a circle around it. I don't know if that makes a difference. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out, hopefully. <laughs> maybe we'll get a car that's got some kind of different kind of border. Okay, what did I do earlier? I just don't want to... Oh, there we go. Um, something else is kind of cool is the back of the cards. You'll see that there's like this raised, like, tech kind of thing to it. You can actually... Oh, no, you can't feel it. It's just... It's a uh, different pro mat. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, we've got the Arrestor Frame. The Crash, Rampage, Displacia. Where is it? Horizon Advanced Restraints, Crowdfunding, Anubian Tracker, Sentry Joan. This might be one of them because it's got a white border. Um, 
Come on, there's a purple. There's a purple. That's good. So that's Fluffy Lingle Celebrationist. <laughs> that's cool. Um, so he's actually a character. So there's also, you'll see here, um, where's money? So green is basically your money. Um, you play the cards by paying a certain amount of money, which is at the top here. Two, four, four, one, two. Um, sometimes there's zeros like this. Um, and they just basically give you cards to, to draw. Uh, or sorry, to, uh, they regenerate currency, basically. The game is based off currency. So. Oh, we got one of the scratchers. So, um, we'll kind of show you that. So, I don't know if this is something that we're going to be using during play in the game, but it's got a heart. Some of them have different, uh, types up there. And, uh, you scratch it off, and I'm guessing in-game it gives you specific abilities. Maybe you can get a few of these and use them, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> and again, our work is pretty nifty on these. Let me, let me go back here. Yep. And I figured I, I had, like, I think, like, 80 bucks in my PayPal. There's a gold, golden border. We'll put that to the side. So anything that's got a specific, like, a border to it, we'll put those in a pile. And it might be that you get one rare and one common per pack I guess maybe or uh, one, one rare and one uncommon I've got a few cards maybe they're just kind of random because I'm sorting out all the cards that I've went through already that have those kind of half circles or the circles I've got quite a few <laughs> and I've only opened two packs it's gonna be a long video so just just so you guys know oh we got another one I really again I don't know how these are gonna work this one's got a navigation symbol and uh, basically to attack defend and such you see at the bottom it's got the uh, I think that's like knowledge um, life uh, navigation and then this is pulse I don't know <laughs> I've watched some videos so I know how to play mostly but uh, yeah cybernetic and there's three different kind of types in here you know kind of like in any other card game they've got attributes and such um, I wonder if maybe, no, I was trying to see if maybe this had something to do with anything, but um, we did have the, the front card here, and this one's yellow, so I'm not sure, hmm, we'll throw him in the pile. He's yellow, so why not? They also don't have a full set list online, so I don't know what I haven't, you know, what I'm not going to pull or what. What could be pulled with the rare card, chase card in the set is. And, uh, yeah, so. It's, uh, I mean, it's a learning experience. It's the first set, the base set, so they call it. Uh, mountain. <laughs> Magic the Gathering, guys. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're not going to worry about picking out any more rares. It's taking too much time. Come on. Should be like a little tear thing at the top. You definitely can't open it like a traditional pack, which is very frustrating. There we go. Let's just, we'll start trying to do from the bottom. And then we got another one of the scratchers. We got this lady. Let's go ahead and zoom in. Oh, maybe not. There we go. Incarnate donor. Disarm. Leave of absence. Corpse citizen. Incarnate inheritor. Grow Wings, Sleeper Cell Activation, Tactical Vassal, Tobias, blah blah blah, E5 Grenader, and there are equipped cards, which again, is not censored, so that's a big plus. I'm tired of these, like, censored pussy cards in this game. This one's got a heart, that's cool. So far we've got three. Let's try from the bottom again. Nope. I guess it's kind of luck of the draw. I wish I had scissors or something. Okay. And we got yet another... Oh, this is Mega Corp. Okay. I thought I got another one of the uh, thingies. I guess a handgun. Oh my gosh, censored. Oh, shit. <laughs> I love it. And at the end of the video, I'll kind of show you guys a little quick tutorial on how to play. Uh, chickens, dude. 
Golden Comet Chicken Flock. Man, golden, oh my god, golden chickens. I'm going to save it. Put that one's going to go right here next to the, to the foil. <laughs> oh, man. I love cards that are silly like that, so. And then these are all the cards that have circles. Come on, baby. Come on. Is there any other way to... There's no, like, middle flap, so you can't tear it in half. I just don't want to damage the cards. I do want to say I am kind of sad that this has some damage on it. The top there. The boxes look like it got a little damage from uh, possibly for opening it with a key. I'll have to rewatch the video to see if I if that's the side that I could open. So, yeah, it maybe it was my fault. I don't like it's kind of cool. So you look at that art. The art on this is actually pretty cool. It's all, um, yeah, hand drawn. I guess maybe some CGI and such. I don't know. So here's an event. Move any number of cards you control. Each card you control can be moved once this way. So yeah, that's kind of nifty. Basically, rebuild how you play it. Uh, played everything. And for, for those of you that know the game, uh, shit. I want to bend the cards, but I feel like that's the only way I can get them to open easily. <laughs> okay. Critical hit. And I'm not sure how many people have opened these on YouTube, so... Um, yeah, hopefully... Oh, no, it's got bend on it. Maybe from the pack opening. Damn it. Uh, well, we'll put it in the book to flatten it out. We're... It's a purple bordered. <clears throat> okay, come on. I'm, I'm, I'm still trying to figure it out, guys. Like, there's no... You can't open it like a traditional pack. Like, oh, hold on. Maybe I just have to pinch it a little harder. <laughs> maybe I'm tripping like a little. Maybe I'm just being a baby about it. It's Hitler. No, I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> I thought that was a mustache looking through the camera. I apologize. <laughs> oh, man. Don't be mad. Please don't be offended. I don't condone anything that has happened. Okay. Let's try this again here. Okay, come on. There we go. Maybe we'll just do it that way. I actually have seen this one a few times. This is uh, basically just get you a creature on board or a monster on board, whatever. Critical hit. Corp consultant. Come on. Kick back. Pleasure vessel. That one looks pretty expensive. Doom blast. And it's golden. So it's gotta be something. Oh, beast. Doom beast. And you got another one of these navigation. Okay, we're gonna throw him in that pile. I guess, we're look, I guess what we'll do is we'll look for anything that's golden and purple. <laughs> anything that's golden and purple. Alright, yeah, we got it. We got this. Steve is over here tripping. So you can see the rare back there, I guess. Uh, it's got the white kind of... Okay, so... One, two, three. Rare? Maybe? Maybe I'm getting it. There's the uh, green one. The next pack, we'll see if you know if it's if it holds true to what I just did. Maybe the whole time I've just been tripping. All right. This might be commas in the front. Once we get to the white border, so one, two. Oh, okay. So we got. That's a little different, but hey, we get this uh, this lady here with the yellow, as a real independent enforcer, and she's a founder. So that's cool, so you can build a deck out of her. And then purchaser order. Magna Grove. Huh. Oh, I got two Magna Groves. So that's cool. Maybe it's a misprint or something. They don't look any different. So uh yeah, you guys tell me how that is. <laughs> I mean it's a first set, so I don't I don't expect anything uh 
I don't know how the value is going to hold on this stuff, or if, it, if it'll just like, you know, the game is done. I know that Alter Reality Games, Jim McMahon's basically the US distributor. I, I did not buy this from him because I don't think he had it at the time, but I bought it uh, as soon as they were in that one, two, three rare character. Um, so this is actually a good one. Um, so this is uh, basically, so this is money, or your, your uh, funds. You play one of these per turn from your deck, top of your deck. Uh, this one, the good thing is it has no payment, so you don't pay for it to be activated. But then uh, when you deploy it, you gain one, so which is one million basically. And then uh, at the end of your turn, you put him into your open market so that your opponent can buy him, I guess, technically. <laughs> so he's not good, but you don't have to pay anything to activate it, so that's cool. You got another one of the greens. But yeah, Drim McMahon, he's uh, Alter Reality Games. He's the U.S. market salesman for this game. Um, he's doing the, I think he's going to be doing the organized play, trying to build that up too. Um, so, we'll see how it goes, guys. I mean, he's got a lot of stuff. He's got Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! I don't think it is really magic, but... Okay, one, two, three. And we got the rum... Was it? Therambaric ammunition? Or therm thermobaric ammunition. Body double. Just covert human. This is the location. I don't think I've figured out the locations yet or anything, so we are about halfway through, so <laughs> it's going to be a long video. I just want to give you guys time to look at the cards while I'm kind of going through them, see if you like the art. It's cool. This one's like, you know, looks like 4th of July, I guess, in their time. Nost Acolyte. One, two, well, that guy's... So here's another zero cost. He's probably money. Oh, he's blue. Okay. So he's an event destroy target creep character that was the target of two or more cards with action this turn. Um, not bad. He has a zero ever across the board. So he's not that good, but uh, router. And then we get the uh, Lun Lunasis 16 or Y1600 Lancer. You can bond stuff, and that's uh, one of the mechanics. It's kind of cool. You got another one of these. And I don't think that the business cards actually come in the set itself. I think you have to get it through like a structure deck or the, the foil promo out of a box. I do like the idea that you get a foil promo basically in every box. So, one, two, three. Incarnate Martial Artist. Character. And we got a rally site for location. And Affluent Consumers. So this one costs two, and then cash flow, basically, each turn after you draw, I believe, you gain one, one million, so that's kind of cool. Um, yep, so these are definitely the uncommons, the white border, I guess, maybe. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong again. I definitely know that the yellow-purple borders are rares, so... And we'll see how many of these little... Uh, Scratch offs we get as well after this is over. Well, that's cool. Medical vessel, evacuate building. So there's one, two, uh, three. So this one's a purple, well, this one's like a bluish, so maybe not. Oh, there's something in the back. Got something in the back, yo. Place of worship, C. And, oh, look at that, baby. Oh, yeah, rock star. So that's my girl. I'm making a rock star deck. So she is a character. She's a celebrity, civilian human. Uh, game one cash flow for each time rock star is challenged with hearts. So uh, you can attack with, I think, any of these types, and then I, you know, I have to learn more. But that's pretty cool. She's in the very back, so that's different. Uh, I like the art. I'm a. I like rock and metal, so <laughs> that's cool. We got another one of the 4th of July's. It's not called 4th of July, but you know what it means. Public holiday. Good Jericho. See, I want to get all the card in there so you can see the bottom. Again, these are basically what you attack and stuff with, so I guess it's relevant to a point. Old age. This guy's getting old. Alright. Neo Sapien Army. I almost like Neo Spatian. <laughs> Human Leap. Oh, thermonuclear warhead. Fuck. Okay, so first off, this card's got 15 million. 
and that's high. If you if you don't have any funds at the end of your turn, you lose or something like that. Um, so this card comes into play, basically tapped, um, and you can tap it to deal eight damage to every card in play, then annihilate through a nuclear warhead. Uh, I can't remember what that tapping is called in this game, but you guys get the gist of it. And we got this little scratcher for the hearts. So that's the one cool thing too, is not only do you have just one attack and one defense, but uh, there's four different uh, stats that you base off of, and your opponent could have a horrible card in one area and then a like great card in the other, but the one that they're great in doesn't matter as much on your turn when you're attacking them. Life insurance policy. It's just a little bitty card. Medical integrity module. Nostalaman. Weaponized bullet ant. Telekinetic slash. Stealth shield. We got that Magellan Apothesis. So that one's actually, uh, from what I heard, is pretty decent. Um, he's a zero cost event. At the end of your turn, if you control a disengaged, oh, an engage and disengage is what that card was talking about. Tapping, engage or disengage. Um, so if you if you control a disengaged character with ten or more, uh, ten or more, what's that? I don't know what that means. Magellan cell counters. Oh, Magellan cell counters. Okay, you win the game. So I guess there's a deck that you can base off of Magellan counters. So we get another one of the hearts. All right, after the game, after the box is over. Um, I'll do the tutorial on how to duel, and I'm going to scratch off one of those cards just to see what's under it. I don't know if it's a rewards program or if it's something that actually interacts in the game itself. Oop. Um, so we'll see here in a sec. <laughs> Got the disarm. Let's see, a lot of these we've seen earlier. This is a guy that's not Hitler. <laughs> Trade Union Demonstrators. Displacia. Captain Lineage. Human. Da -da -da. So they're getting into the on commons, I'm guessing. And stock market crash. So at the beginning of each player's phase, place a crisis counter on stock market crash. The valuation of every card in play is reduced by the number of crisis counters to a minimum of zero. Remove a crisis counter from stock market crash. Any player may activate this ability. Huh. So your opponent could use it against you. Well, that kind of looks kind of sick. Reminds me of like uh, Zendikar thingies. We got desert. So this is a rare. By the way, the way to win the game is to make your opponent's, cur opponent's currency go to zero or you buy their business. You can buy businesses if your opponent has no cash value on it. Or, sorry, if, if, if it's uh, engaged and you have enough currency to buy whatever that is. We'll get air pollution, future of the earth, you know how it is. <laughs> no, but uh, let's go ahead and read it. So uh, this card here, a player has activated the character ability this turn. That player cannot inactivate or initiate a challenge. If a player has initiated the challenge, that player cannot activate character abilities. Okay, so that's basically like a disruption card. Got the highway. We got like four packs left. Still can't believe it. So technically, this money could have went to Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> I'm like, it was worth it, I guess. It's a cool little card game. I like to play a little bit of everything, so... Um, even if it's like a card game that nobody else plays. Corporate Advisor, Iron Will, Old Age, we've got a few of these. We've got that crowdfunding, Jump Jets, Incarnate Detonate, Anti-Gravity Field, Incarnate Hierarch, Silencer, and the uh, Chai Corp Socialite. Savvy Consumers. This is one of the good ones. So this is it right here, guys. Zero cost, it's going to be green, because that's your uh, funds or whatever, and you gain one cash flow per turn. So literally, as long as this card does not engage, every turn he's going to plus you one. Uh, I'll put that to the side. We got a mountain. Oh, that's money as well. Okay. I don't know how many of those uh, savvy consumers we've got, because I haven't really looked 
for a specific car, but when I saw the zero and saw the cash flow, I was like, hey, <laughs> my camera's trying to focus on his face for the. You got that nice little gun there, powered armor, Jericho Prophet, blah, blah, blah. Leave of Absence, Bio Forge, Jericho. Oh, oh they look the same to me for a second. I'm like, what? <laughs> and then Timely Interception. So this is a one cost. And then uh, uh, engage a character with a you know thing less of at least one. Cancel target event. Okay. Okay. Cool. Oh, we got another one. Uh, we got a lot of these ones, the greens. So. Yeah, it's worth giving this game a shot, guys. I mean, spend 80 bucks to buy a box. I'm not sure if they still have like the free shipping, but you can go to uh, what's his name? Whoop. What's that page? Dang it! Did I just pick up some of their cards? Okay, there we go. But you can pick up. Uh, I think they might have free shipping on uh, Rudy. What's his name? Alpha Investments. And then there's like one other channel that might blackout. So it gives you one upkeep for cost. All cards and play lose electricity, so that's good, I guess. Oh, we got a f few extras at the back of that one. We got the forest, dormant volcano, and then corp advisor. I don't think that's a rare, but uh, we got a few extras after that one. <laughs> they also might have printing issues. Oh, I guess we have one more pack. Um, being the first set, you never know what they're going to have in here. The medical integrity module. A lot of tech stuff. Get that shepherd tree. This one has a cash flow of one each turn, a three cost. It gains uh, one cash flow free to adjacent card with livestock or agriculture. So that's good. Um, and you'll you'll you know basically looking at a card such as. Um, this one here, you'll see where it says activist, civilian, human. That's where you're looking for livestock and agriculture. Each card that's adjacent to it, which will be top, bottom, left, and right, you get one cash flow per turn, which is pretty good. And we got a knowledge. So that's, I think that's the first knowledge one we've actually got, guys. And for the last pack. Now one more thing that's very interesting about this game is they sell playmats. The playmats actually have effects <laughs> that you can use with your deck. Nost Civilian. We got the armor, piercing ammunition. Sick stuff. Paradigm Shift. Misdirection, or misdirection. And Tidal Wave. There's a lot of cards that deal with like weather and such. Uh, this one's nice. It's a zero cost. It's probably a cash one. Yep, green. So he gives you oh there's the uh, the livestock and uh, so you can use this with that card we uh, or no GMO plant oh yeah livestock and agriculture so you can pair these together and uh, this gets cash flow all right heck yeah that's nice and then the tidal waves are rare <laughs> okay so that's it we got the commercial 3D printer is the last card all right guys so um, just let's do a quick tutorial. I know, again, this is a long video. I uh, expected it to be when I started. So, um, so when you play the game, you start off with one business. And let me try to find a CEO or whatever they're called. Let's try to see if I can find one. I think they're like purple. Oh, red. They're red. Okay, here, let's just use this one. It's the first one I can find in the stack. <laughs> so, you start off with the game with these two cards, okay? So, here's the deal. This, you start with 10 million. This has a cost of 6 million, so you literally you're starting out with 4 million. Um, now, it, again, you draw, there's like some, there's three steps. You draw, you on tap everything, or sorry, you draw, then you go to your cash flow, which is the green deck. You pick the card off of it, either play it, 
or I think you can put it to the bottom. Um, this one being a zero, you place it anywhere that's adjacent to any of these cards. It has to be top left, bottom right. It cannot be like this. It has to be adjacent. And you build out from there. Now your opponent can't attack this card or this card if, for example, they're covered on all four sides. This is just an example. So now you, your opponent can't attack this. It has to get rid of one of these. But, uh... Or, yeah, so, yeah, okay. So you draw. I think it's cash flow. Then you do the green card. And then you on tap everything. Or maybe it's on tap. You, know, you on tap, then cash flow. I think. Whatever. <laughs> but either way, it's a very cool mechanic. And again, the cards become engaged whenever you attack. So... You basically just flip them sideways and they do what they do. Um, so yeah, that's that's basically the, in the nutshell. I know it's not a very good tutorial, but I, I'm not a master at it because I haven't played physically yet. I need to get my brothers and stuff over here to do it. And we will look through these and we're going to sort these out real quick. See how many of each we got. I think we only got one knowledge. Oh wow, one na two navigations? So we got the most, uh, we got four of these and five of these. So we got five of these, um, so we're going to go ahead and just scratch one off. And as you'll see, they also have one million here, so they're going to cost you one million. So during game, I'm guessing, uh, there's probably going to be, oh wait, go to megacorp.com forward slash redeem. So these actually has a redeem thing. So maybe I don't scratch it off, so you guys can't... I don't want to be mean, but... Oh, it's a QR code. Okay. Okay. So I guess I'm going to redeem these on their website. <laughs> Alright, guys. Well, that's pretty much it then. So this is... Uh, let me go ahead and just show you the stack of cards we got out here. This is, like, mostly rares. We got some of them we didn't do, because at the beginning, we had no idea what was happening. Um, and then this is the stack of cards we got over here. There's that lady I used for demo. And then, yeah, there's that chicken, man. So that's everything we got. We got one booster box. Uh, by the way, it comes with 27 booster packs. All right, guys. Well, this is Relax Yu-Gi-Oh! You player. Again, it will be coming at you dual videos probably this Saturday after I get paid. And I will catch you later. Peace out.